close your eyes for a minute. Yes, you, the person watching the video, shut your eyes. I'm going to take you on a trip to the beach. I want you to imagine, shut your eyes, imagine you're at the beach. It's a very pretty beach. Imagine it very, very hard. Imagine, imagine, imagine. Okay, open your eyes. Do you feel like you've been on a trip to the beach? No? Good, then I've made my point. But I'm a perfectionist. Give me another shot. I'd like to try again. Shut your eyes. Yes, for real this time, if you didn't do it before. Imagine you're at the beach. You can see the blue sky scudded with puffy white clouds. You can smell the hot sand baking in the summer sun. You can taste the salty air. You can hear the waves crashing against the shore, scraping it away a little bit at a time. And you can feel the fluffy beach towel in your grasp. Open your eyes again. Do you feel like you've been to the beach? Good, because a little bit of sensation can make all the difference in your writing. I would say use all five senses, but there's actually more than five. Balance, for example, you can tell if you're upside down, even if uh, you're blindfolded, if you happen to be strapped to someone's ceiling, you'd know about it because of the fluids in your inner ear. You can tell if your core temperature goes up or down uh, as much as a single degree Celsius. You can tell if you're hungry. There are all sorts of sensations that can't be portrayed on a screen. Your goal, Today, your daily writing challenge, and I encourage you to look over one another's efforts again and post feedback on, on what one another has written, your challenge is to come up with a sensation and describe it, something non-visual and non-oral. Go.